Real quick before this video starts, I want to let you guys know about a $1,500 giveaway me and a few other YouTubers are doing. There's going to be seven winners total. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, all you need to do is leave a like on the video and go to the gleam.io link in the description below. Hey guys, it's Skin Freak, and today we're gonna be taking a look at five butterfly knives in real life that I actually received from cuts.com. That's C U T S S dot com. Now, if you wanna go ahead and get a discount on your order, make sure to use code FREAK at checkout, and you'll get a nice little discount on that. Anyway, I figured we would look at these knives a little bit different than everyone else on YouTube and basically we're going to be looking at the butterfly knife in real life and then we're going to be comparing it to the version that is actually in CSGO. So the first skin we actually have here is the vanilla butterfly knife. Now I know I'm not a pro at uh, doing tricks with the butterfly knives but this is what it looks like in real life. As you can see, it has the normal metal blade that is nice and clear, as well as the handle, which is pretty much the silver, and then they have the little black marks on the side. Now, in real life, these butterfly knives do look pretty nice. This one is actually a little bit uh, dirty just because I was practicing some tricks with it before the video, but I think this one looks quite nice overall. And all of the knives from Cuts comes with their logo on the side right here. And they're also pretty dull, so if you want to practice doing some tricks, it's uh, pretty simple as the blade is a bit dulled out. Now comparing this to the butterfly vanilla knife in CSGO, you can see that the shape is pretty much on point and exactly the same. The blade is the exact same color and the handle and the blade shape and everything is pretty much on point. Now the only difference is that the vanilla skin actually has kind of a black handle instead of a silver one. But other than that, it's pretty much fully on point. Now the next skin we have here is actually the butterfly knife fade and this one flips a bit better than the last one did. Now like I said when it comes to butterfly knife tricks I am not the best I am pretty much just a beginner I know a couple little simple tricks but this one looks pretty nice as well it has that kind of pink and blue and yellowish fade on it and the way the fade works on the real life knife is it, it's almost like a radial blur so it's kind of starting from the middle and the fade is coming out instead of starting at the handle and coming to the end. Now on this one, they have more of like a copper feeling to the actual handle as you can see it looks like a brushed metal and it's not as uh, silver as the last one it's almost like a penny with the copper in there and then of course they have the little black designs on the edge but overall I think this one looks really cool and this is for sure one of my favorites. Now comparing it to the actual butterfly knife in game you can see that for the most part the colors are pretty close they have the red and the golden kind of fade but like i said the fade starts from the bottom to the top instead of a radial fade and there's also no purple or pink or anything like that it's mainly just yellow and red but as you can see on the handle the handle is pretty much black for the most part in the game and it has the little red rubber parts on the edge instead of being a copper with black rubber parts even though this one doesn't look exactly like it does in csgo i still think it is a really cool design and a really cool butter knife overall Next up, we have the Butterfly Knife Boreal Forest. Now, of course, this skin is almost like a joke to most CSGO players, as it is the Boreal Forest, and it's probably one of the cheapest and ugliest skins to most people in CSGO. But looking at it as a real-life knife, I think it actually looks really nice, um, especially if you're into camouflage and into camo like this that is more of like a hunter's feel. So if you're more of an outdoors person, you'll probably like this knife the best. But if you're more of a hardcore CSGO player, this is probably one of the knives that you dread. Now looking at this knife, you can tell it's a bit different from the others. The handle actually has a green color with black rubber parts, and the blade is a real nice camouflage, which is a pretty much mimic of the one in CSGO. So looking at the butterfly knife in CSGO, you can see that the design is pretty much fully on point. The blade looks a lot like it does in CSGO with the camouflage colors the handle is green and it has the black rubber parts on the handle as well so i'd say so far this is the best mimic in csgo itself 
Next up, we have the Butterfly Knife Knight. Now, this is also one of my favorite butterfly knives in the game and in real life just because it looks so nice and it kind of messed up, but oh well. But as you can see, it's pretty much a full black skin. And I don't know why, but I think this looks really nice and it just kind of stands out as a whole. I mean, like, if you're literally in a battlefield with this knife, it's it looks pretty BA and it has like a really cool kind of dark contrast to the knife itself. Now, looking at the knife itself, the blade is fully black and the handle is pretty much fully black except for the rubber parts where we have the red now i think this is a really good color combination a dark red and a dark black i think it has a really cool dark feel and honestly just for that reason this is one of my favorites now comparing it to the one in csgo we can see that it is almost exactly the same. The blade is completely black and the handle is completely black, but in game, the rubber parts are black while in real life, the rubber parts are a dark red. But honestly, I think the knife looks much better with the dark red rubber parts versus the black because it just kind of gives the knife a, a little bit more of a pop to it. And I think it goes really well. Now last but definitely not least, we have the Butterfly Knife Slaughter. This knife has a really really cool design on the blade. As you can see, it's like a dark red and a light red mixed together with the slaughter design. And as we move down to the handle, it is fully black once again with the dark red rubber pieces. So it's pretty much the same handle that we got from the knight, but in this case it is the slaughter design on the knife itself. And honestly, I think this is one of my favorites, if not my favorite itself, as it's just like a really cool design. And the red and black just have a really nice contrast that fully go together. And overall, I love this knife, and I think it is one of the best that I have gotten. So comparing it to the butterfly knife in game, the blade is pretty much on point. The colors are a little bit off, but for the most part, the design and the color scheme is almost exactly the same. The blade is a little bit lighter black in game. It's almost like a silver gray looking handle, but it does have the red rubber pieces like the knife in real life. So, so once again, I would say this is another one of those knives, which is almost like an exact replica from CSGO. Now when you purchase these knives yourself, they actually come with a nice little latch that pretty much every butterfly knife comes with in real life to hold it shut. It also shows you which side and it also helps you determine which side is the safe side when you're actually attempting to perform some tricks with these butterfly knives. Now, if you are a beginner who wants to get a butterfly knife and do some tricks, I would say these are some of the best just because they already come with doll blades. But the only downside is because of the shape, which is mimicking the shape in CSGO, it's a bit harder to do some of the complex tricks, which really rely on physics and gravity and stuff to completely do the trick. And with it being a different shape and and a different kind of setup it's a bit harder to perform those tricks now I'm not saying that they're impossible and I'm sure if you're good enough with a butterfly knife you can get the hang of it and it honestly shouldn't be a problem so once again I did get these knives from cuts.com so make sure to check them out and if you do make sure to use my discount code freak that is f-r-e-a-k and you'll go ahead and get a discount if you do purchase one of these knives now these knives also come with a little sleeve to place them in and a real nice box to keep it in for display or just to keep it for storage. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I wasn't a pro at the tricks that I know how to do. I basically just know how to open it up, close it, and kind of like do a little display. But if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a future video. This has been Skin Freak, and don't forget, Stay freaky.
Girls wanna play